so now the car have to register enter the card number if you have any designation just enter designation department employee id name group free time group verify mode finger or car or it is optional you can select any verification mode in case if you select finger or password you need to enter a password here and then confirm your password then save now you can go uh, see the user and view user list so the user has been registered and it is active the green shows it is active and it is using a finger or card verification now flash the card registered card at smf 6 c one and check the access log the access log says is in previously it was unregistered now since we register it says in at the main door so this is how we register a card and verify then we can see a daily first in last out this uh, card number name test first in is uh, at 5.17 and then last out now I flash the card and then go to access log I can see in then go to first in last out so last out is 5.17 so we need two transactions for first in and last out then if you want to add some more employees you can go and add a employee using the card number then if you want to have some designation list add new designation like mr add so this is how we had an add designation go for department list we can add like technical add so this is a designated department list then you want to make some changes to terminal then go to terminal setup we can make changes if we want and then save most of these are by default no need to change but the important thing is we need to set this illegal access event to recorded and save in case if there is any illegal access to the smf631 so that event will be recorded if not it will be ignored if it's recorded it will be useful for future analysis then save this takes few seconds uh, then there is a uh, option of ad administrator setup we can have up to five administrators uh, right now the terminal logon password is uh, by default six times one 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 in case if we wa you want more protection then you uh, if you want to have a different administrator password or terminal logon password you type in your password here and save so that will be your administrator password and you can use that password for the terminal logon then you click save once you have made the changes then clock setup you can go select the clock so click save function key auto setup you can select function key f1 if you want to have a number f1 plus 1 you can select 1 otherwise select none f1 if we may call as entry and set so now you can go for function key auto trigger select function key f1 number is none maybe from morning 9 to evening 6 you can add as f1 so your terminal displays the function key f1 like entry so the terminal shows entry this is a time set 
time set id is 2 and maybe it starts from 9 to 17.5 set so we can have a time set time zone setup like Monday from 9 to 17 with Tuesday from 9 to 17 so it goes on you can keep this as working hours the time zone name and then save you can have group list set the group name is employee time zone ID you can select the working hours and the alone door will be the main door save okay then door setup go for door properties and you can have the door properties here usually all the finger uh, all the blocks will be deactivate except for the exit time button zone exit button time zone that one will be open anytime and the others will mostly be deactivate and the relay trigger if we are using a built-in relay you can select built-in relay if we are using smf20 select smf20 and the access log recorded and set 